Kia ora guys, Mr. McKinley here. Today I'm just going to explain to you one of the five JCA criteria we mark you for your reports. So the idea I'm going to explain is thinking. I can demonstrate awareness of solo and use appropriate health and PE terminology to show my understanding of the concept, language and practice to improving my knowledge. So if you're at a pre-structural stage for this one, which is a JCA score of one, I'm unsure of what solo is or how to apply it in class. I don't understand the terminology the teacher is using and can't relate it to the topic. So what does it mean if you're at this stage? You don't know what the current topic is, you can't comprehend any of the language being used, and you have no idea what solo is and how it relates to your learning. If you're at a uni structural stage or a JCA score of two, I can demonstrate a limited understanding of solo and apply the concept, language, and practice to improving my knowledge when reminded or prompted. I know the topic I am learning, but can't comprehend the key points. So what does it mean at the uni structural stage? You know the topic or one key piece of language used in that topic and what it means. You know the level of solo you're at, but you have no idea why you're at that level and you don't put your hand up to share your ideas in class. If you're at a multi-structural stage or a JCA score of three, I know the various pieces of terminology in health and PE in some of the solo stages, but I'm not sure how they interrelate or interlink. I can see that solo and understanding the key elements of a topic can be used to create a deeper understanding, but I'm unsure how. So for this one, you know most of the solo stages, but can't link them together. You don't know how to reach the next level, um, and you might know a couple of key phrases um, in the topic that you're studying. If you're at a relational um, aspect or a JCA score of four, I know the various stages in solo and the key terminology of the health and PE context. I understand the topic and the opportunities that solo has for the learning of new skills and the ideas and how it can provide a journey from shallow to deep learning. What does it mean if you're at a relational aspect or a relational level, sorry? Um, you know all the stages of solo and know the key language used in the topic. You can put your hand up in class and provide good answers. Um, and you can also evaluate the use of solos and the understanding of the current topic that you're learning through your Google form. If you're at an extended abstract stage or a JCA score of five, I fully understand solo taxonomy and the various language used in the health and PE topic. This includes key terminology, terminology and structures. I can confidently use solo taxonomy to learn and gain a deeper insight and higher skill level. I can use the correct language and my understanding of solo to help others learn and identify their progress. So what does it mean when you've reached the extended abstract level? Um, you know the topic inside out, you understand the key language and can problem solve when given an idea. Uh, you know all the levels of solos of solo and how they inter, interrelate and interlink, and you can teach other skills or guide them through their learning. Well guys, that's about it. So I hope I've provided you with a bit of an insight as to how we mark you on your JCA criteria for thinking. Thank you for watching.